Hi everybody, and welcome to this step-by-step -step guide on how to run Facebook ads for your Shopify store. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up everything from start to finish. You will learn how to connect your Shopify store to Facebook, create your first campaign, and track your results. This video is made for beginners, so you don't need to have any experience with ads before watching this. Just follow each step carefully, and by the end, you will know how to run Facebook ads to grow your Shopify store. Let's start by connecting Shopify to your Facebook account. First, open your Shopify admin panel. On the left side, Click on Settings, then choose Apps and Sales Channels. Click on the Shopify App Store button. In the search bar, type Facebook and Instagram. Click on the official Facebook and Instagram app by Shopify. Now click Add App. This will install the app into your Shopify store. After installation, you will be asked to connect your Facebook account. Click Connect Account. A new window will open where you can log into Facebook. Use the Facebook profile that owns the Facebook Business Manager account you want to use. After logging in, Facebook will ask you for several permissions. Allow all the permissions so Shopify can properly connect to Facebook. Once you've connected your Facebook account, the app will ask you to select a Facebook Business Manager account. Choose the one that's connected to your brand. If you don't have one, Shopify will help you create a new one directly from the setup process. Next, you'll need to select your Facebook page. Choose the Facebook page that represents your store. If you don't have one yet, go to Facebook and create a page first. After selecting your page, the app will also ask you to choose an ad account. If you already have an ad account, select it. Otherwise, click Create New and follow the steps. After that, the app will ask you to set up your Facebook pixel. A pixel is a small piece of code that tracks actions people take on your website. It's very important for retargeting and tracking ad performance. Shopify makes this easy. Click Set Up Pixel and choose the pixel connected to your ad account. If you don't have one, you can create one through this screen. Once your pixel is connected, the final step is to confirm your domain. Domain verification helps prevent issues with ad delivery. In Shopify, go to Settings, then Domains. Copy your domain name. Then go back to your Facebook Business Manager, click on Brand Safety and then Domains. Click Add and paste your domain name. Facebook will give you a meta tag. Copy it and go back to Shopify. Go to Online Store, then Preferences. Paste the meta tag into the Facebook Domain Verification field. Click Save and go back to Facebook to verify it. Now that your store is connected to Facebook, it's time to create your first campaign. Go to your Facebook Ads Manager. On the top left, click Create. You'll see different campaign objectives. If you want people to buy from your store, choose Sales as your objective. Then click Continue. Now give your campaign a name, like Shopify Store Sales Campaign. Under Campaign Details, you can leave most settings as they are. If this is your first campaign, keep A-B testing turned off. Click Next to move to the Ad Set level. At the Ad Set level, you choose who sees your ad, where it shows up, and how much you spend. First, name your ad set, such as Target Audience 1. Choose your conversion location as Website. Make sure your pixel is selected. Then choose the event you want to track. Usually, this is purchase, but you can also choose add to cart or view content if you are just starting. Scroll down to the budget and schedule section. Here, you can choose a daily budget or a lifetime budget. For beginners, I recommend starting with a daily budget of $10. You can always increase it later. Then choose your start date and time. You can leave the end date blank for now. Now it's time to define your audience. Facebook lets you target people based on location, age, gender, and interests. Start by choosing your location. If you only sell in one country, select that country. Then choose the age range that matches your ideal customer. For example, if your product is for young adults, choose ages 18 to 34. Then select gender or leave it on all if your product is for everyone. 
Now scroll to the Detailed Targeting section. This is where you choose Interests. Click on Browse, then Interests, and find ones that match your product. For example, if you sell fitness products, choose interests like Fitness, Gym, and Healthy Eating. You can also type keywords to find related interests. Try to choose two to five interests at the beginning. You don't want to be too narrow or too broad. Next is placements. Facebook will recommend Advantage Plus placements, which means Facebook decides where to show your ad. This is fine if you're new, but if you want more control, click on Manual Placements. You can choose to show your ad only on Facebook feeds, Instagram stories, or Messenger, depending on your goals. Now enter your website URL. This should be the product page or landing page where you want to send people. Make sure the page loads fast and works on mobile. Then choose a call to action, such as Shop Now or Learn More. Review your ad preview on the right side. Make sure it looks good on different placements, such as Facebook feed, Instagram feed, and Stories. Once everything looks good, click Publish. Your ad is now submitted for review. Facebook usually approves ads within 24 hours. You can check your ad status in Ads Manager. Once it's active, you can start seeing results. To measure your ad performance, go back to Ads Manager. You can see important data like how many people saw your ad, how many clicked, and how many bought something. Look at metrics like cost per click, click-through rate, and return on ad spend. If one ad performs well, you can increase its budget. If an ad is not working, you can turn it off and test a new version. Testing is very important. Try different images, text, and audiences. Run each test for at least three to five days before deciding. This helps Facebook find the best people for your ads. That's the complete process. You've connected Shopify to Facebook, created a campaign, set up your targeting, made an ad, and learned how to track results. As you get more data, you'll be able to optimize and grow your sales with Facebook ads. Take your time with each step. Ads take practice. The more you test and learn, the better your results will be.